Ever felt like saving money is an uphill battle? Especially if your income is not enough to live from hand to mouth. You're not alone. A survey by Go Banking Rates in 2017 revealed that a whopping 46% of people like you have zero savings. Sure, the savings struggle is real, but guess what? All it takes is a few steps in the right direction to kickstart the journey you want, and I'll share them with you shortly. Number one, create a budget. When it comes to wealth building, financial freedom, and savings, you can't cut corners. Yes, a whopping 59% of Americans don't have a budget. But don't join that ship, because it's destined to sink. Your budget is your financial captain, telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. It's your game plan, your playbook, your secret weapon for financial success. Start by listing your income and then break down your expenses. And don't forget the little things, that daily coffee, the streaming subscriptions, they all add up. The best budgeting style for low-income earners is the 50-30-20 rule. Here's the breakdown. 50% for necessities. Half of your income goes to the essentials. That's your rent, utilities, groceries, transportation. You know, the must-haves for daily living. 30% for wants and wishes. Streaming subscriptions, dining out, that extra cup of fancy coffee, all the little luxuries that make life sweet. 20% for savings and debt repayment and building an emergency fund for your future goals. Now let's talk about tools. A simple spreadsheet for budgeting apps like Mint and YNAB, You Need a Budget, can help you track your income and expenses and watch your financial superpowers grow. Remember, it's not about the amount you earn, it's about how you wield it. Number two, start now, not later. Dave Ramsey once said, a budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went. Yet a staggering 46% of people have zero savings. Even if you're working with a tight budget, committing to saving, no matter how small the amount, sets you on a path to financial freedom. It's like planting the seeds of prosperity, and trust me, those seeds can grow into something truly remarkable. Now, some folks wait for a bigger paycheck to start saving, but wealth building is a marathon, not a sprint. So even if it's just a tiny percentage of your income right now, that consistent saving will work wonders over time. So repeat after me, I'm starting now, no matter how little. Number three. Automate your savings. You need to treat your savings like a VIP guest, non-negotiable and always on the list, because just like you pay your rent or electricity bill, you're paying yourself first. When that paycheck hits your account, a portion of it gets whisked away into your savings, no questions asked. If you earn $2,000 a month, automate 10% for savings. That's $200 every month effortlessly building your financial fortress. Automating your savings takes the decision-making out of the equation. Your savings aren't optional. They're a priority, just like any other bill. It's financial self-care at its finest. So set up that direct deposit or standing order and watch your savings grow without lifting a finger. Number four, clear your debts. A few years ago, I found myself juggling credit card balances, student loans, and a car loan. The monthly payments were a constant source of stress, making it challenging to envision a future where I could comfortably save. It felt like I was caught in a cycle, paying off debts only to accumulate more. As financial guru Suze Orman says, a big part of financial freedom is having your heart and mind free from worry about the what ifs of life. One day, I decided to take control. I drew up a debt repayment plan, prioritizing high interest debts first. It required discipline and sacrifices, but every payment made was a step closer to financial freedom. As the debts reduced, I felt a weight lifting off my shoulders. Not only did this bring a sense of relief, but it also opened up opportunities for savings. 
Without the burden of high interest payments, I could redirect those funds towards building an emergency fund and eventually investing. Clearing debts provided a clean slate, a fresh start for my financial journey. It taught me the importance of budgeting, disciplined spending, and the incredible freedom that comes from being debt-free. Starting the savings journey from this clean slate felt empowering. Every dollar saved was truly mine to keep and grow. You can never break free of the financial rat race into financial freedom if you have debts to clear. Why? Because debts have a sneaky way of pulling you back into the financial quicksand. It's a cycle that can feel never-ending if left unchecked. According to a study by the National Foundation for Credit Counseling, 49% of people feel stressed about their debt levels. That's why I'll always advise anyone trying to save with a low income to clear their debts first. Number five, cut off the excesses. On average, Americans spend about 33% of their income on non-essential items. That's a chunk that could be doing wonders in your savings account. To save yourself from joining the 33%, you need to understand the difference between your needs and your wants. Make a list of your monthly expenses. Circle the essentials, like rent, utilities, groceries, and put a big X on the non-essentials, maybe that third streaming service or daily takeout. Stay aware and cut where it matters. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the average American household spends about 9% of their income on food. So you need to plan your meals, make a grocery list, and stick to it. Avoid those tempting impulse buys. Generic brands can be just as good, and buying in bulk can save you serious bucks. Be mindful, every dollar saved here is a dollar that can go toward your financial goals. Number six, save unexpected cash. Don't let unexpected cash gifts slip through your fingers. I get it, the temptation to splurge is real, but resist it. Now, I'm not saying skip the fun. After all, you only live once. But hear me out. Spending it all isn't the smart money move. If an emergency fund meets an unexpected cash windfall, boom, instant financial security. And if you're in debt, consider this your get out of debt card. Paying down those balances boosts your financial standing. So treat those extras like they never happened, or at the very least, commit to saving at least 50% up front. It's the perfect blend of enjoying life and building financial muscle. So the next time a financial curveball comes your way, catch it, save it, and watch your financial game level up. Number seven, don't live above your means. Food, clothing, shelter, and transportation, these are life's essentials, no doubt. But here's the golden rule, don't live above your means. The truth is, housing, transportation, and food make up about 62% of the average American household's expenses. Although renting a house might be way more wallet-friendly than jumping into home ownership. Opting for public transport instead of a car can save you a small fortune. And why break the bank on designers when thrift stores are gold mines? Living within your means isn't about deprivation, it's about being smart. If your income is more of a cozy cottage than a mansion, embrace it. It's not forever, but it's a crucial step to financial stability. So, when it comes to spending, ask yourself, does this align with my current financial reality? If not, reconsider. It's not about saying no to these essentials. It's about saying smart to secure your financial future on that low income hustle. Number eight, empower yourself with DIY solutions. When faced with household fixes or improvements, the cost of hiring professionals can quickly eat into your budget. But armed with a bit of DIY know-how, you can take charge of minor repairs, saving a significant chunk on labor costs. Ever cringe at the price tag of store-bought gifts? DIY gifts not only showcase your creativity, but also allow you to tailor thoughtful presents without breaking the bank. 
Transforming your living space doesn't have to strain your budget. From repositioning furniture to crafting unique artwork, DIY home decor projects offer budget-friendly ways to personalize your surroundings. Rather than splurging on expensive outings, bring the entertainment home. Movie nights, game evenings, or backyard DIY projects not only save money but also provide enjoyable and wallet-friendly alternatives. Dining out frequently can be a budget buster. Embrace the joy of cooking at home with DIY meals. Experiment with recipes, discover budget-friendly ingredients, and watch your grocery bills shrink while your culinary skills grow. In a nutshell, DIY on a low income isn't just about saving money, it's about making every dollar count. It's a mindset that turns limitations into opportunities, offering both financial flexibility and a sense of accomplishment. Number 9. Track Your Spending Habit Ever feel like your money is slipping through the cracks? It's time to identify and block those unnecessary spending. Whether it's impulse buys, unnecessary subscriptions, or mindless spending, these leaks can seriously impact your budget. From my experience, conducting a thorough audit of your spending habits is key. Track your expenses, pinpoint where your money is going, and ask yourself, is this a need or a want? Small leaks add up, so tighten the tap on unnecessary spending. Remember, avoiding waste isn't about deprivation. It's about making intentional choices. Number 10. Gain a new skill. In the quest to save on limited income, consider the powerful equation of gaining new skills while saving more money, a true win-win strategy that has been tried and tested. Instead of allocating funds to costly leisure activities that suck all your time and money, like Netflix subscriptions, redirect your focus towards educational opportunities. Swap out leisure for a lecture and watch as you invest in your future while keeping your wallet happy. Attending workshops, online courses, or community classes will not only expand your knowledge, but also enhance your skill set. The beauty lies in the fact that many of these learning opportunities are budget-friendly or even free. The truth is, the more you learn, the more you earn. So let your pursuit of knowledge become a cornerstone of your savings plan. It's a double benefit, personal growth and financial prudence intertwined for a brighter future. Ready to take control of your finances? What's your first move towards saving on limited income? Drop your thoughts below. If you follow these 10 practical tips, your journey to seizing control of your finances and boosting your savings game will be stress-free. Let's make financial strides together. Subscribe for more tips and shared experiences. Your journey to financial freedom awaits. Start now.